Hi, in this video, we will see methods with return type. Okay, in our previous videos, we have seen simple method, method with parameters. Now we will see methods with return type. For this, let me go to Visual Studio Code. I have created one class called method with return type. Okay, so let's take an example. I have a, an employee and I'm calculating the employee salary. Okay, so for that, I am creating a method. Okay. Public void employee salary. And what could be the parameters for this? So we have seen that what is parameter, how to pass parameter, right? So in our previous video, method with parameters. So int basic salary, I can say. Okay. Then int HRE. Okay int bonus just an example right okay so i want to calculate the total salary for that particular employee so i can say int net salary net salary is equals to basic salary plus hra plus bonus just an example now I will print this system dot out dot print ln. So the so total salary is net salary. Okay. Done. I have written a method. So I need to call this method. So to call this method, I need to create an object for this. So method with written type is equals to new method with return type okay and then mwrt dot employee salary and i need to pass the values so let me take thousand three hundred comma two hundred something like this okay now i will try to execute this and we'll see java method with return type dot java you see total salary is 1500. So this we have seen already in our previous video when you pass return uh, parameters, right? Nothing different here, but I have one more employee. Okay. Dot employee salary. So this guy's salary is 2000 comma 600 comma 400, okay? So this will call this method again. It will add all these things and it will print. So let me execute this. So 1500 for first employee. Second one is 3000. Till here it is fine. Now my requirement is in my company, how much money I have given in the form of salary to all the employees. Let's assume 100 employees are there. Example. So for these 100 employees, how much salary I have given for this month? Okay. So how you can do this? Right. Where will I get this first month, em uh, first employee salary that is 1500, second employee salary is 3000. I'm just printing. So if I want to calculate here, total salary, it means the total amount paid as salaries, then how can I do this? After executing this one, 1500. It is printing here itself only. How can I get this net salary from this method to this method? No way. Right. If I want to do like this, I need to what? Int net salary is equals to, I need to do 1000 plus 300 plus 200. I need to do this again here. Okay. Okay, fine. I am getting 1500. But how to bring this to here? Right. And 1500 is what? Integer. So I can store in an integer value. Okay. I will store after completion of this execution. I'm getting 1500, right? After executing this entire code, I'm getting 1500. Because of that, I'm printing that. So let me try to put in integer int employee one salary is equals to, right? And the same way, I'll put int EMP2 
salary is equals to right after executing the output is what first employee salary i can store an integer when you execute this one second employee salary i can put here in the in the form of integer the reason is the ultimate you know the end result is an integer right so let me try to execute this we'll see what happens obviously you will get an error the reason is incompatible types void cannot be converted to int incompatible types void cannot be converted to int what is this void right this is void the method is returning void void means it is not returning anything void means after executing of this code back to the caller i am not providing any information i'll just execute that's it i'll not give anything back to you that is what void but what we are expecting here integer value so because of that what it is saying incompatible types void cannot be converted to int okay so then after executing this i want this information back so that time i need to return something now i am not returning anything void but i need to return something what is that part i want to return that will be in the form of integer only so then i will change this void to int okay that's it we'll see that is sufficient or not you see that error missing return statement if this you are returning something something means here in this method i am returning integer okay you are returning integer that is fine but you are missing some return statement so in java if you are returning something you need to mention that with the help of one of the keywords called return what you want to return here from this i want to return net salary right that is what you need right net salary that's it i want to return net salary from this method after executing this method so now after executing what is it what it is giving me back net salary in the form of what integer so i am able to assign that value to integer right we have done everything so clear now if you run this what happens nothing but no errors now i can get what how much amount i am paying as salaries so int total amount paid okay what is that emp one salary plus emp two salaries now i can add all the salaries the reason is i am getting this information in the form of return type to this method so if it is returning integer i can store in the integer so if you have integer here so i can add these two integer values and i can assign the same thing to another integer right then what i can do i can print now system dot out dot println what i can mention here total amount paid as salaries okay what is that total amount paid that we stored in the total amount paid right so i am printing that here so if i execute this now you see total amount paid as salary is 4500 3500 so everything executing fine right so this is all about returning the statement fine so you can return only integer no all primitive types you can reference types also you can return okay once you execute here the output what you want if you are returning boolean then you need to change this to boolean what type you are returning you need to change this method return type to that type okay that's how method return type will work so let me take an example public void mm, welcome something like that okay 
inside that i have written return statement in starting itself okay then again system dot out dot print ln so i say welcome to my channel and please subscribe i'm just writing one text okay sentence so i have written return statement here and i'm doing system dot route dot print ln i want to execute so let me call this method here right how we can call this method here we have created object right method with return type dot this method and there is no parameters i don't need to pass the parameters but let me execute this and see the output you see that i am getting an error so what it is saying compilation failed give me one second here you see that sorry i made a mistake somewhere so okay, i missed this semicolon to terminate so expected it is saying so if you miss something like this it will say error semicolon expected that is fine now i'll execute again i'll correct that i'll execute again you see that unreachable error unreachable statement what is that unreachable statement system dot order print ln welcome to my channel and please subscribe this is void return type it's not returning anything so here also i'm not returning anything right simply put a return statement but i am not returning anything but it is not coming to the next line and it is not printing this the reason is always return statement should be should be end of your method it should be something like this only okay return statement should be last statement in your method so if i do the same thing again if i execute you see that welcome to my channel and please subscribe now it is executing the moment it is written what to return nothing is there if i put five return five five it is what integer so if i run this one now now again i'll get an error the reason is incompatible types i'm returning integer five but uh, the return type is void there is no compatibility built in between these two okay because of that i'm not able to return but if you're not mentioning anything simply return that indirectly void so there is no need of writing this one waste statement but to show you how it will behave that one okay now you can we'll take one more example public void otherwise int um sum okay sum and i pass int x comma int y as parameters and inside that what i'll do first i will return x plus y i'm adding this x plus y and the sum i'm returning okay return and then sorry and then i'm writing system dot out dot print ln again i am calculating sum of two numbers i am calculating sum of two numbers right so when i try to execute this okay so i need to call this method okay so here Uh, t dot sum of ten comma twenty, right? So let me execute this again. Again the same thing, error unreachable statement. Why? So in this method, first statement is written. What it is returning? Integer only. i am returning integer everything is fine but first statement became written but this is not acceptable the last statement should be written if you want to return something 
So because of that, it is giving me error again. Okay. So let me correct that. Okay. Let me correct that. If I try to execute the same thing now, it is giving me calculating two numbers. So it came here. It executed after that return. After returning, I'm not using there. That is different concept. We already used that in the calculating salary. But just to show that return statement should be last statement in your method. Okay. This is how method with return type will work. So that's all about method with return type. So what could be the possible interview questions? Again, what is method? How to achieve reusability in method? What is return type in Java? So what is the purpose of return type in Java? So what is the purpose we have seen, right? After executing, I want that value to be used somewhere. So you can return that value. Okay. So that's all in this video. Thank you.